What up, YouTube? I'm back today with the Yaesu 2980. Now, I've had this radio for, oh, about three days now, and I've manually programmed about 65 channels into it. So I briefly want to go through and show you how to program the radio if you so need to do so. Super simple, easiest user interface I think I've ever seen. But the first thing you need to do is you need to put your radio in VFO mode. So we're going to hold the MW DMR VFO. So you need to find the frequency that you want. In my case, I want 147.315, which is my local repeater. So I can key it in with the keypad, or I can use the VFO knob and, and find it. So at the same time, we're just going to use the keypad. We're going to go 147.315. Okay, so now we've got our channel selected that we want to program into our radio. So we need to set this radio the tone. If it uses a tone to get into the repeater, we've got to set that. So what you'll do is you'll hit the set button, hold it, and you'll go to the program and use. You go to program 49, squelch type. Hit the set button. Tone is off. We want to set it to tone. Hit the set button again. Then we need to go up to menu 52, tone frequency. We need to set that at 100, which is what I need. You can scroll through these. You can scroll through these and set it to whatever you need it to be, whatever your repeater uses. Mine uses 100, so we're just going to set it to 100. And since you are here, this is an important step. If you've got local repeaters that you want to hit, you can change the power and store this in the memory before you put it into a memory channel. And you hit the AN slash low button. Low power, low 2, low 3, whatever your radio is set for is what you can do. If you don't do this when you store it in memory, you won't be able to set it permanently when it's in the memory channel. You have to manually change it every time. So I'm going to set this one to low two because this repeater is only eight miles away from me. But once we get our power set, we need to store this into memory. And to do so, we hold the MWD slash MR. And you can see right now, the memory channel is flashing. That means it's empty. And you gotta do this fairly quickly. That one's not flashing, so that means it's took. But I wanna put this on channel three, is where I had it to begin with, and it will overwrite this memory channel since there's already a channel there. So, channel three, hit set. Now we're in VFO, hit this, go back to memory, and there we are in memory three. Now, we can set the name for this channel, or we can leave it just as it is. Me, I like to label my repeaters what they are, but if they're locally, I like, I live close to the town of Mount Sterling, I go MTS1, MTS2, it's just a way that I keep track of it because I know the repeater call sign anyway. How do we set that? We hold the set MHZ button to get into our menu, we scroll down, to menu 30, NMSET. So we hit set. Now we're flashing. So all we do is turn our VFO knob. In this case, I'm gonna name this one MTS. And to go forward, we hit the AN slash low to get to the next number. And do the same thing again. And if we need to go back, we hit the DW slash reverse button. And it'll hold six characters. And to save this, you just hit set. Hold that to get out of there. And there you go. We can test it to make sure we're into it. And you can see I got into the repeater, no problem. Super simple radio to program. Super easy. Do it a couple times, and you'll be a pro. But that's it. Maybe down the road we'll get into some of the more advanced features of this radio. Uh, it's really good radio. I highly recommend it to everybody. It's just been fantastic for me. So with that, peace.